If you've been on my channel before, you know that I focus a lot on St. Augustine. I live here, I work here, and I love everything it has to offer. But in recent years, there has been a big increase in interest in the Palm Coast, which I am also spending more time in these days. So today, I'm going to compare living in St. Augustine to Palm Coast. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Devlin with the Kim Devlin team in St. Augustine, Florida, where we help buyers and sellers every day. If you're looking to move to Florida, then hit that subscribe button and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you might have. I'm always here and happy to help. Today, we're going to talk about two areas in Northeast Florida and compare the lifestyles, neighborhoods, and homes you can find in both. As I mentioned earlier, the two areas are St. Augustine and Palm Coast. St. Augustine is located in St. John's County and spans from Marine Land to north of the city district and west out to Royal Gulf Village. Palm Coast is located just south in Flagler County and runs from the Hammock area south down to Flagler Beach and west towards US-1. Palm Coast is just a 30 to 40 minute drive south from the historic district of St. Augustine, depending on where you are coming from and going to. Let's start with things to do. Both of these areas offer beautiful beaches and endless summer lifestyle. Either place is the perfect distance to travel to and from for a day out exploring and discovering different shops, dining, or water activities. While being close in proximity to one another, St. Augustine and Palm Coast feel like totally different worlds. In St. Augustine, you have the historic downtown district at the heart of the city, teeming with historic sites, shops, restaurants, bars, and year-round events. There is always something to do and see in St. Augustine. You have your choice of miles of beaches nearby, either north to Volano or south to Anastasia Island. Plus, big attractions like the Lighthouse, the Alligator Farm, and concerts at the Amphitheater. Other festivals and events are almost nonstop around downtown St. Augustine Beach and even in the neighborhoods. You can enjoy the annual Cathedral Fair, the Sing Out Loud Festival at the Amp, and historical reenactments like Drake's Raid, and on a smaller scale, there's always something going on from the first Friday art walks at the galleries to live music and comedy shows. While the calendar is not as jam-packed as St. Augustine, Palm Coast does still host a number of events and festivals throughout the year, such as Shakespeare in the Park, Songwriters Festival, and the Weekly Farmer's Market. One of the highlights of Palm Coast is European Village, a small, charming, old world feel plaza with a few boutique shops, cafes, and restaurants and community events such as the farmer's market and live music at the gazebo. The little village is charming. It's not big, but it is a fun place to go and grab a bite. They have a couple of really great restaurants from sushi to Indian and Latin and Italian. For the golf enthusiasts, Palm Coast and St. Augustine have a number of courses to choose from, including a few designed by legends Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer. And for the outdoor enthusiasts, both offer a lot for water sports. But when it comes to biking, walking, or running, I would say that Palm Coast offers a lot more in terms of trails and pathways. They have over 120 miles to explore, including along the intercoastal waterway. You'll find signs along the way to pick up different trails. And the best part is the majority of these trails are nowhere near traffic, so you can bike, run, or walk safely. Palm Coast also features Washington Oak State Park, which is absolutely beautiful, and Princess Preserve, a wonderful park, definitely worth visiting. And in the fall, you'll find the Native American Festival takes place. And if you've never attended it, I highly recommend it. Now, when it comes to tourism, St. Augustine being the oldest city in America definitely gets more attention, but you will find high tourism in the hammock area of the Palm Coast, located on the northernmost end of the Palm Coast area in Flagler County. This is where Hammock Beach and Golf Resort with its oceanfront golf course, five pools, restaurants, and probably the only vacation resort type field place in the area. Now, if you are looking for a little more R&R lifestyle, you might want to consider the Palm Coast. The beaches there are just as beautiful and often less crowded than the popular shoreline in St. Augustine. Unlike St. Augustine, there are no drive-on beaches, so it never gets too crowded or loud as you're like out there soaking in the sun or reading your book. Palm Coast has actually been named one of the best places to retire according to Retirement Living, and you can definitely feel the slower pace of your day in comparison to bustling St. Augustine, but you will not sacrifice on amenities. Palm Coast offers plenty of options for eating, dining, and shopping, but you will find less in the way of mom and pop type shops. Now, St. Augustine also attracts many retirees and downsizers, and there are many 55 plus communities such as Villages of Saloy right in St. Augustine and Parkland Preserve in World Cup Village. But we are also a family oriented area drawing in new residents looking for good schools, which St. John's County ranks high in. And where there are good schools, there is development. 
The St. John's County schools are a huge draw for people moving into the St. Augustine area with young families. In a survey done by Realtor.com, about 73% of home searchers and buyers rank schools as one of the most important factors in determining the area they looked in. If this is a big consideration for your family, be sure to read up on the districts and the rankings. This leads us to home values and growth. Home values in St. Augustine have been steadily on the rise over the past decade. The increase in tourism has piqued the interest in the area for many people looking to move to Florida. St. Augustine is seeing a lot more development consisting of newer master plan type communities with resort style living that include HOA and CDD fees, but older and more established type neighborhoods are consistent in and around the city of St. Augustine and the beaches where you will mainly find homes ranging from the 1930s through the 1990s in non-homeowner association and homeowner association type neighborhoods. The growth of St. Augustine in recent years has definitely had an impact on home values. St. John's County has been the fastest growing county in Florida over the past 10 years, increasing the population by 40%. Like all markets, a lot of the real estate value is based on location. Single family homes near the beach average 1 million in price and oceanfront would average about 2.5 million. There are a lot of condo complexes on St. Augustine Beach where you have many options starting at about 400,000. Many of these condos are small, about 1,000 square feet, and many are used as vacation rentals. Further inland, older neighborhoods like St. Augustine Shores offer mid-century bungalows to larger ranch and Florida-style homes from the 250s to the 600,000s, while the newer communities in World Golf Village will start at about 500,000. The continuous population growth, which has increased 3.79% in the last year, has expanded St. Augustine to other areas in St. John's County to cater to families seeking top-rated schools while still being convenient to the offices and industry in Jacksonville. Unlike its neighbor, Palm Coats has had a slower population growth, increasing only about 1.55% in the past year, mainly because this area is not seeing those larger master plan communities being built like they are in St. John's County. The Palm Coast consists of neighborhoods segmented by an alpha system. So for example, the C section, which is also known as Palm Harbor, is unique in having canal front homes, many with private docks, giving these residents easy access to the intercoastal waterway. Unlike in St. Augustine, the Palm Coast features 70 miles of saltwater and freshwater canals, offering home buyers seeking a waterfront lifestyle with a dock, many more options starting at about 550,000. The southern and west ends of the Palm Coast is sprinkled with some mid to high end gated communities, but mainly you'll find a mix of homes with a suburban vibe where the majority of the homes are built in the 80s and the 90s and are concrete block type homes where prices range from the 300,000s and up. Be aware that most of the Palm Coast is managed by the government. The county and city offices impose the taxes and regulations like lawn maintenance and boat or RV storage, which can sometimes be a lot more strict. If you are looking for something comparable in price to the St. Augustine Beach neighborhoods, then the hammock area of the Palm Coast would be more in line since it's walkable to the beach. However, unlike St. Augustine Beach, the Palm Coast offers more resort style communities along their shoreline such as Hammock Dunes and Cinnamon Beach. Similar to St. Augustine, Palm Coast oceanfront homes tend to be on the higher end of the market, starting near two and a half million. But if you are looking for a low maintenance condo, Palm Coast offers more luxury options near the beach than you might find in St. Augustine. The expansive oceanfront complexes like Hammock Beach and Surf Club are perfect for enjoying your retirement years surrounded by top shelf amenities like poolside cabanas, fitness centers, sports courts, and exclusive beach access. Overall, the cost of living in Palm Coast may be slightly lower than St. Augustine. Municipal services and utilities are about 6% lower than other areas in Florida. An average home value is about 28% less. However, there are some bigger gaps in income and property values from the south end of Palm Coast to the north end. Either way, there are homes available in varying price points for everyone in either location. Palm Coast and St. Augustine have plenty to offer any home buyer. Now let's talk about healthcare. St. Augustine has great healthcare available. Flagler Hospital Center is the closest facility to historic downtown and the beaches. It has an excellent reputation and extensive outpatient network. There are new hospitals and facilities recently completed or underway to cater to the increasing population. So to find out more, watch this video right here and I'll provide a link below as well. There's also a general attitude of self-care, fitness, and good living around St. Augustine. In fact, St. John's County was voted healthiest in the state in 2022 for the 11th consecutive year. Similar to St. Augustine, Palm Coast also provides residents with a lot of great healthcare options. 
there are multiple in and out patient facilities and great specialty services. A new complex from Flagler Health Plus is also on its way and will be a state-of-the-art hospital. So for those who want to spend every day paddling, fishing, and cruising out on the water, either St. Augustine or Palm Coast will make that accessible to you. It is definitely a little quieter around the Palm Coast area, but there is no shortage of adventures to make the most of your day. If you want a few options for community events like music, dining, and top-rated schools, then St. Augustine might be the town for you. There is so much to do in and around St. Augustine. I really can't cover it all here. So be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos, including some more fun activities and a closer look at some of the community. In searching for the home and community that will be perfect for you and your family, there are a lot of factors to consider. I hope that this has provided you with a little insight into St. Augustine and Palm Coast and what you could expect from the lifestyle and the market value in each. As always, if you have any questions or you want to share your own experiences, drop a comment below or contact me anytime. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one.